What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be breaking down Nansen AI. It is a, uh, basically a insider information type of website for OpenSea and for NFTs and stuff. It's actually really, really easy and simple to use. I've been using it for a while now and I've made exorbitant amounts of money through it. I would say 75% of my wins have been because of Nansen AI. And so if you're ready to get into the video, please hit the subscribe button, drop a like in this video. Comment Halloween, and that's why I'm wearing these masks, these stupid mask things, uh, in, in spirit of Halloween. We got like 10 days left, so. So, anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. So real quick, before we get into the Nansen AI tutorial, I just want to do a quick, quick market overview. So Bitcoin is trading at 63000 877 dollars so it broke out past the all-time high it hasn't exploded or anything so i'm expecting a pullback pretty soon um i am part of like a of a trading group of people but this was a uh this was something i picked up kind of on my own i just it's it's due for a pullback it's going to be a, a decent pullback too so i'm preparing and getting allocated into my buy limits with dogecoin so shiba as you know has pumped multiple times this pump it's a uh, retail film is coming in soon dogecoin's next that's my thesis at least i think dogecoin's next um i mean look at this chart bro look at look how high it went it got up to like 70 cents or something like that at one point um it's gonna pump so i'm i'm getting ready for that if you want to it would probably be smart also d race just pumped again it's at 363 i got in here look at this shit i got in here not at 70 cents, but it was at like 90 cents. So I'm up like almost a 4x right now. d race is a really good opportunity. Um, right now, it's probably not the best time to buy, but when the market has a little correction, d race might be something good to get into. I'm looking to pull out once d race gets to like seven or eight bucks. I think it'll get there. Um, so it's a, it's a pretty safe bet. I mean, as everything is in this in this bull market, everything's gonna pump. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good time. Just make sure you have your exit strategy ready. Make sure you're not the last one holding the bag. And uh, with that, we'll get into Nansen. So after you make an account with Nansen, I think it's like it's anywhere from like 150 to like 180 a month. I forget something in that range. So it's not cheap, but it is well worth the money. You make one trade, you got your money back. So once you log in, here's your your main page is gonna be this one. It's gonna say home. It's got all these random little boxes. It looks really complicated. There's this weird chart thing. I don't, I literally don't even look at this page. I go straight to NFT Paradise. This is gonna be a short video, guys. This is, it's really, really simple, actually. All right, so NFT Paradise, this is where, this is my, like, I have a, a little, um, a shortcut on my computer. It goes straight to Paradise. I don't even bother with anything else. I literally don't know how to use anything else. It doesn't matter. So, Market overview. We've got a 24-hour NFT market overview. It goes over the top 10 NFTs that are doing the best, the best, the most trading volume, all that shit. So right now it's got Axie Infinity, as pretty much as always, Crypto Punk, Sport at Yacht Club, Kaiju, all the all the people you'd expect. Head DAO is actually doing really, really well. We just covered this. Um, and it was at like a 0.2 floor, I think. I think uh, I thought about getting it at 0.17, but I don't know. Influencer projects, ugh, they're they're really hit or miss. Um, and then I skip over this. This is basically just showing this information on a chart. Um, Profit leaderboards. I don't pay attention really to who here just because there's so many people who are smart. If if there's people holding CryptoPunks, Board A, Yap Clubs, um, all these great NFTs, I'm just going to trust them. I don't really care who's who. Um, a lot of people get really nitty gritty. They're like, oh, well, like this dude bought it. This guy didn't, so I'm not going to buy it. I don't care, bro. I'm just fucking... With Nansen and I, especially, sometimes it's really time sensitive. So as you can see at the bottom of this screen, we got smart money buys. This is where I spend most of my time. So these things are cool just to kind of keep track of what's going on. But at the bottom is where the, this is where the value comes in, right? So this is where you, this is where you spend most of your time. So these notable buyers, these legendary buyers, this is, these are the little yellow dots that you see on all those Nansen and AI charts that say, oh, these are notable buyers. Smart money's buying in. That's these people, right? These are people with very, very impressive portfolios that are buying stuff like live it's dope so this is what i mean when it's like kind of like inside information you can kind of see who's buying what the smart people in the same way in the stock market you can see exactly what some of these institutions are buying like every day it's crazy and people just don't hear about it or something i don't know they don't care i don't, I don't know i don't know dude if, you, if, if this is available you should be having it so you get to see which collections are being bought up which be which are being minted which is really cool so if you catch one early that's minting and you go on the page and you say you know i fuck with this and you see there's a bunch of smart money buying in you're probably going to do well now this isn't to say every single project is going to do well these motherfuckers have money which means they're throwing money which means if there's even an ounce that 
there's a, there's like a you know a snowball's chance they might make it they're probably gonna throw money at it so you need to be careful and remember that they're playing a different game than you are so if you see a dude minting it doesn't mean it's gonna do well make sure you do your own diligence crypto flies and fly frogs i found through here and i decided not to buy it even though a shit ton of people were buying in and it fucking didn't do anything it literally went to like 0.09 and just died so it does it's not it's not like a look at it buy whatever they buy and you win automatically these motherfuckers make a lot of money but they also lose a lot of money but they have money to lose so it doesn't really matter so you get all these top pages i usually don't scroll past like 10 because after 10 it's like it's kind of too far out the time limit so you just look at what's happening here um there's something if you see like a bunch of people minting something you want to also double check that it's not the same person so here it's four different people minting so this might be a decent one to get into so we'll just click on it so i'll show you how you do it so when you're here, you click on the NFT project that you're interested in, takes you to this page, goes to like the home page of the project. So it's got Animal Society here. It's got your Ether scan and your Open C on the right side. You get to see its price volume over the last what is this one day. Um, you get to see the price range. So it looks like its minimum is 0.05, max 0.19, average of 0.05. So it kind of gives you like a ballpark of where you should probably be buying. So that has all the breakdowns, the stats here. I really kind of skip all this. I look mainly here. So these are all non-notable buyers, which is no problem. But then you see a lot of notable buyers getting in at the bottom. So at 0.05, so it looks like maybe the floor dropped after the mint. And maybe these guys came in and swooped up. Who knows? Who knows exactly what happened? And you can kind of see here. Yesterday we had a spike. I assume the mint happened yesterday. And then I had a sell-off. I guess everyone was like, fuck, it's not, gonna, it's not pumping to the moon. Sell it, sell it now. And they all sell for a loss. I just, I just don't get, don't fucking be that guy. I don't care how new you are. If something's not pumping and you think it, you thought it was, if you're selling for a big ass loss, that's just stupid. Just fucking wait. Just wait. Or just don't buy it in the first place. It's fine. If you bought it, have some conviction and wait it out. I'll, I'll tell you an example. So here, hold on. So I'll give you an example of me sticking to my guns, even though it really fucking hurts sometimes, especially if you believe in the project. It's just really hard sometimes to see the floor price. But in my last video, I talked about the floor price does not mean it doesn't reflect the value of the project. It just shows who's a paper hander and who's not basically right so stack toads this is a project they got up to a four ETH floor and about a couple weeks ago i saw it had dropped all the way to 0.4 i wasn't quite sure where the market was going and i thought i was getting a really good deal so i bought three um hasn't done so well it got it went up to 0.7 after i bought and i thought it was going to keep going i let my emotions get ahead of me i should have cashed out on at least one that was the original plan, but I got greedy. That was my fault. It's totally fine. And so I wrote it back down, went back to 0.5, still could have sold, didn't. I should have. Um, went all the way down and wrote it back all the way down to 0.2. But for me, I'm like, look, it's not worth me taking a 50% loss just to like cover my ass. Like that's stupid as hell. Why did I buy this project? Because of the passive income, because I thought it was a good project, because I thought there was diamond handers, and there are. This floor price of 0.19 is just a couple paper handers. You know, it's it's fine. When the bull market comes back, I expect this to come back, at least to what I bought it for. So I'm just going to hold it. it. I know it hurts. I'm Trust me, it hurts. <laughs> it, it doesn't feel good to see my my uh, my investment take a 50% loss in like a week. But it's fine. I'm going to hold it and I'll be rewarded. So anyway, back to Nansen. So clearly it got clobbered right after the man. Everyone panicked. And then notable buyers said, okay, thank you very much. And this is the cycle that happens every single time. And now you are aware so now you can go to their open sea this is the first time i've seen it so i'm kind of excited to see this maybe i'll buy some too so animal society volume two it looks like maybe there was a genesis launch before so it'll take you to like whatever nft they bought and then you just click right here on the actual project and it will take you to the home page so the floor is at 0 0.06 it looks like i the mint was probably 0 0.05 and then people probably sold for 0 0.02 or 0 0.03 bounce back up to 0 0.06 floor um I imagine this is actually kind of cool. And then from here, I'm not going to do like a full breakdown because I just showed you everything with Nansen. That's pretty much it with Nansen. But here on the right side, just because I'm already here, you got your activity, the website, the discord, the Twitter, all the handles. This is really important too. So this, this paired with Nansen, I'll show you. If you click on activity, you can see real time activity happening. So it looks like this is a pretty, pretty active project right now. It looks like people are paying attention to it. There's a lot of, a lot of sales in the last hour. So you can see all the activity happening in the top. You can see a little chart. So this is the same chart we saw on Nansen, basically the same chart. So look at it, the difference between, so it had the spike up a little drop off and then a little, another spike up. So here it, it updates every couple of days. So it hasn't updated since yesterday. 
and on Nansen, it picked up today at the 21st. On OpenSea, it stops at the 20th, so in a couple of days when it updates, it'll show a big rise and increase. But right now, you can see it. It started off strong, kind of died off a little bit. Not really surprising in this climate of NFTs. It's just really, really, really risky to get into, into minting right now. If we're in a bear sentiment where NFT mania isn't crazy, minting's not the best option. It's really not. You need to be very, very careful. Kaiju and Jungle Freaks and Head Dao are the only, only, only three that have done anything really. Uh, or, sorry, and, uh, and Doodles. Uh, everything else has been kind of lackluster. It's been cool. But um, NFT mania is when you want to be doing flips and uh, participating in mints because every mint is doing well in the bull market, in the bull market, like everyone's excited. Um, so that's my advice to you. But besides that, man, I mean, that's really it with Nansen. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you learned anything in this video, please hit the subscribe button, drop a like in this video so other people can find this and we can all win. We really can all win because the more people that find out, the more new people that enter, you know, they get fucked over a little bit and then they learn about Nansen and then they find this video and then we all win and then the cycle repeats and we all get better and we all get smarter. And if you're sticking with me, we are all going to make a lot of fucking money this year. The people I follow are really smart. I'm getting better at this. If you want to follow me on Twitter at Cade Bergman, I would highly suggest that or at least follow the people that I'm following. I'm following a lot of smart people. 50% to 75% of my alpha comes from people on Twitter and then the other half comes from just me scouring shit at like 2 a.m. on the computer because I'm weird. Yeah, uh, I suck at uh, I suck at outros, as you guys know. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you later. Peace.